Hello and welcome. Friends, today I want to speak concerning the awakening that is taking place today. And that awakening is the awakening of the Hebrew Israelites, uh, the true people of the Bible, of the book. Uh, the awakening that you are seeing today uh, is something that is foretold by Yahuwah, the God of Israel, long time ago. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 to 14, God said that in the final days, that is in the, last, in the final days of our punishment and discipline among the nation, a God foretold that he is going to awaken all the whole house of Israel. Uh, you should know that the whole house of Israel, both Judah and, and Israel, we are put under punishment by the God of Israel because of the dis disobedience of the people of Israel. And that punishment started in AD 33, after the death of Messiah, according to Amos chapter 9, verse 1 to 4. That punishment started with the, with the death of the Messiah. And that punishment on the Negro Israel will last for 2,000 years, according to Hosea chapter Chapter 6, verse 1 to 2. Uh, so, the awakening or the resurrection that you are seeing today is what was foretold. Even the Messiah, <coughs> Yahushua, alluded to this time of resurrection. In the book of John, chapter 5, 10 from verse 19, he talked about that he is the resurrection and the life. He is the one to give life back to the people of Israel. After being dead or put out of non-existence for almost 2,000 years. So, for you <clears throat> to really understand what is going on, we need to get back to study the things that are written. For without us paying attention to the things that are written in the world, we will have no light or no full understanding of what is taking place and what we need to do until the end of it. So today I want to speak concerning this awakening. <clears throat> the scripture said that there will be, it will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. That means the rebels of Israel will also be resurrected along with the righteous ones of Israel. The righteous ones of Israel are the ones who are seeking for Yahuwah, the God of Israel, and who are waiting on him for his appointed times. But the unrighteous and rebels of Israel are the ones who are living Yahuwah, the God of Israel, and keep running after other gods of other nations, serving other gods of other nations till today. Even after they are being resurrected or they are being made aware that they are the, the people of the book, that they are the children of Israel of the Bible, such unrighteous and rebels will ignore the information 
They would rather choose to go along with the other nations to keep worshiping the false gods of the nations. So this resurrection is includes both the righteous and the unrighteous. All will awaken to know that they are the people of the book, the Israelite that God is dealing with, according to Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. So, but for you to really understand what is going on, so that you do not walk in the path whereof the in the path of the unrighteous, you, the awakened one, need to really get back to the book to study it, uh, in order to really understand what is written. At Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20, it was prophesied by Isaiah that in the final part of the days, the awakened ones of Israel will no longer follow the narrations of the ones that enslaved them, but they will trust in Yahuwah, the God of Israel, with faithfulness. That means they will trust in what is written in the books rather than what the narration that the slave master have gave to us. So we need to get back to study this word, examine it, for it is by the, uh, like the Messiah said in John chapter 8, verse 32, He said that you will know the truth and the truth is what will set you free. So unless we go back to the book and find ourselves and understand that we are the people and find out what our God is doing with us, we will have no light. But rather we will go continue to go on in the pathway that we've been going on. But when we understand that we are the people, then we can accept correction. And then we need to do what is required from us, which is the, require, the true repentance that God wants from us, if we want to be delivered from this um, predicament. So after... After the resurrection of both the righteous and the righteous, the unrighteous or the wicked will continue to rebel by following after the nations and serving the false gods of the nations. Whereas the righteous will awaken and they will start seeking Yahuwah, the God of Israel, in order for them to return to him. At the end of the resurrection period, there will also be what the Messiah said, a separation of the sheep of Israel from the gods. You can see how the scriptures tie together once we go back to it, understand who you are, and understand what your God is doing. So he will separate the sheep and the God of Israel. And we know what he said will happen to the gods. Well, after the separation, uh, according to Malachi, there is a day that is coming that we will live for the wicked ones of Israel, the unrighteous ones. He said he will leave for them no root, and no bow, no bow or no branches. That means there will not be any more uh, rebe rebellious Israelites who will turn away from, my, from Yahuwah to go and serve the false gods of the nations. This prophecy is still yet to be fulfilled because according to Isaiah chapter 10 verse 21, to, to 23, 
God, it was prophesied. I'll read that. Isaiah chapter 20, chapter 10. If you have your Bible, open it up. Isaiah chapter 10, verse, verse 21 to 23. I'm going to read from the New World Translation. And this is what it says. Verse 21, only a remnant will return, will return the remnant of Jacob to the mighty God. For though your people, O Israel, are as the grain of the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will return. And extermination has been decided on, and justice will engulf them. Yes, the extermination decided on by the Sovereign Lord, Yahuwah of armies, will be carried out in the entire land. So God's intention is to exterminate all the rebels, all the Israelites who are running after other gods to serve them, who have abandoned in their own God the rock that formed them, the rock that gave them life. God's intention is to annihilate every rebel of the house of Israel. He has been meaning to do this, but each time he keeps showing patience. But after these 2,000 years of punishment, and you do not accept correction, God will carry out the intentions of his heart. Yes, he will carry out the intentions of his heart, which is eliminate all the rebels of the house of Israel before he restores the house of Israel back. At your own time, read Amos chapter 9, verse, um, verse 10. It says, All the sinners of Israel will be annihilated, or be put to death, for they will not return back to the land of Israel. So as you are awakened, or as you are resurrected, as you become aware of who you are, that you, the Negro Israel, is the people of the book, for you can identify a tree by their fruits, and the things that has happened to the Negro Israel identifies us as the people of the book. So as you are awakened, you should start to seek, how do you return back to your God? How do you return back to the favor of your God? How do you, what is, what is, what is it that he required that we do in order to receive his mercy and be restored back to the land that he promised? Until next time, um, I'll talk to you again. Uh, you can like my video. You can comment. Let me know what you think. Um, you can subscribe to my channel, and I'll be uploading some, uploading more videos to encourage all who are working especially as we wake up so that we can seek the truth and to pursue it. Again, thank you.